Hi everyone, so let's find out more about the sound wave phenomena. If you guys ever wonder why causes the siren of a speeding ambulance to seemingly change pitch as it moves by you on the street? Well, actually there is no change in pitch of the siren itself. This is all happening because of the Doppler effect. Hmm, do you guys know what Doppler effect is? By definition, Doppler effect is the change in frequency of wave when there is relative movement wave source and the observer. You guys need to bear in mind that the Doppler effect do not depend on the distance. Instead, the new frequency depends on the ordinary frequency, the speed of wave, observer, and the source. So, let's find out how actually the Doppler effect works. This is due to the wavelength between the ambulance and the observer nearby that being squashed by the moving ambulance itself. When the ambulance approaching the observer, the wavelength between the observer and the ambulance decreases which makes the frequency that being received by the observer increases. So that is why the pitch of the siren sounded higher. And then, when the ambulance moving away from the observer, the wavelength between the observer and the ambulance increases, which makes the frequency that being received by the observer decreases. So that is why the pitch of the siren sounded lower. We can also apply this concept with the radar gun that used by the police to detect the speed of the car. Unlike the moving ambulance, the wave source in this situation is not moving. For your information, the radar gun will transmit a radio wave to a targeted object. The wave will be reflected back by the moving targeted object towards the radar gun. So, when the radar gun receives the frequency within the reflected uh, wave, it will automatically calculate the speed of the moving object. All of this happens because the transmitted wave hits the moving object, and then the moving object will reflect back the wave to the transmitter. The received frequency are different from the frequency within the transmitted wave. So that is why we can calculate the speed of the moving object. So that is all from me. I hope you understand about the Doppler effect. Thank you for watching!